Righty then, welcome to lesson number three. And that is identifying the chatter. Now, by identifying the chatter, what do I mean exactly? Well, I mean identifying the chatter in your mind. Your mind is basically a great tool. You have a quote, don't know who said it, but I'll look it up for you and put it in a video. And it says, the subconscious mind is a horrible master, but a great servant. Now, what do I mean by this? Before I explain to you what I mean by this, I'll explain to you a little bit what I mean by identifying the chatter. Because most of us aren't aware of what we are actually thinking. And this might sound a little bit odd to you because you're like, well, I know what I'm thinking. I know what's in my mind and I know what thoughts I have. Well, have you looked at your life? Are there any areas of your life that you are dissatisfied with? If yes, then if you watched the last lesson, you by now know that you've attracted those things. And if you were really conscious of what you are thinking, you wouldn't have attracted those things because either wanted or unwanted, you attract either way. Because what you think you attract, and that's what you get in your life. The manifestations in your outer reality are basically the evidence of what your thoughts are. And if those things are unwanted, you are thinking unwanted thoughts. Now, in this day and age, it is quite easy to distract ourselves. It is quite easy to be on our phones or to go on Netflix. And by that, we train our minds too. We train it to be distracted. And by that, we kind of become out of touch with who we are or with our thoughts. Do you hear how I'm phrasing this? Getting or being out of touch with our thoughts. Because, surprise, you are aren't your thoughts. So by identifying the chatter, I basically mean realizing that you are not your thoughts. You are two separate entities. Now, how do I know this? I've read a great book. Let me get it for you. It is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I made a video about this. Uh, you can watch it on my channel, Juliet Space, and I go into depth what you learn in this book. Now, this book is a great book as Eckhart Tolle explains the differentiation between you, your true self, your intuition and your thoughts. You have a quote, and I think this is from Arthur Rimbaud, and I don't, I'm not quite sure, but he says, I think, therefore I am. And this quote is quite old. Everyone kind of knows it, knows it by now. This quote is kind of wrong. It is kind of wrong and it's kind of true too but more on that later. As a person walks this earth, and I do believe that we are pure positive light beings, and this sounds very floaty, floating bitchy and very um, hippie-like, but it is true. Um, how do I know this? Well, because as Abram Hicks beautifully put this, feeling good feels good, so you're supposed to feel good, feeling bad feels bad, you're not supposed to feel bad. We are supposed to feel positive all the time. We are supposed to be, as Bruce Lipton calls it, to be in a honeymoon state all the time. As you know, as a lot of us have experienced when you are in love and the first few months feel like you're on a never ending honeymoon, that's basically how life can feel for us all the time because we are meant to feel like that all the time. But when we come into this earth or when we are come out of this earth actually, because believe we come out of it, we experience something called contrast and contrast being negativity. As we are positive, that doesn't really feel that good. But we are also taught from a young age that life is hard, that things don't just happen for us. We have to work for them. Um, all of these negative things. And in my last lesson, I believe I say too, that we have 50,000 or 60,000 thoughts per day and 50,000 of those are negative which means you create a lot of negativity in your life. Now, back to the you are not your thoughts because identifying the chatter is the first step into becoming in touch again with your intuition or your true self. Now, in this course, I'm going to say a lot of terms like subconscious mind, conscious mind, ego, true self, intuition. Most of those things like subconscious mind and ego, they are the same thing to me. Um, as it doesn't really matter what the actual scientific way in your mind or how it all works. You know, you have a lot of people who 
specifically talk about that, uh, one of them being Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe Dispenza, great, great speaker. He has a book called Becoming Supernatural. Great book, you should buy it if you really want to know the scientific way behind the law of attraction and all that stuff. But it can, can be quite confusing to hear all of those terms. There is just this really important distinction I'd like to make to you. When you hear your thoughts, you are not hearing yourself. You are hearing an ongoing negative, unwanted pattern that you have been identifying with for a long time. So it seems like you are your thoughts, the I think, therefore I am, but in actuality, that is not you. I have a quote from Eckhart Tolle to really explain this further. The identification with thinking becomes ego, which means simply that you believe in every thought that arises and you derive your sense of who you are from what your mind is telling you who you are. That is basically it. How can you know and how can you believe me that you're actually not your thoughts? Well, as I said, feeling good feels good. That is the first most evidential, if that's even a word, thing that must say to a person that you are not meant to be negative. You are just used to being negative all of this time. Um, and you've identified with that for so long that you think that that is you. But, and I don't know if I said this in a previous lesson, but just, I don't know, close your eyes like last time. Just close your eyes. Become silent. Maybe take a deep breath, deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Last deep breath in. And exhale. Now become silent. Maybe by now a thought would have come up. When it does, just let it float away. And when a thought comes up again, just don't react to it and let it float away. Now slowly open your eyes and welcome back. This is why I made you do this. Do you hear how I phrased when a thought comes up? Did you start thinking about that thought? You probably didn't. When a thought appears, it appears. You didn't start thinking it. Certain things can trigger it. Because when I'm in a shower, I see a shampoo bottle, my mind makes a a connection with the shampoo and the smell or uh, s maybe I talked about shampoo with a person and that person comes to mind and then a negative thought appears. But did I want to start thinking about that? No. That is the subconscious mind which becomes ego. That is the, the thought that happens to you. You didn't start thinking those thoughts. Also, you have a conscious mind and you have a subconscious mind. As I said before, the subconscious mind can be a great servant, but it is a horrible master. The subconscious mind basically is the habitual mind and the conscious mind is the creative mind. Out of the conscious mind, you think, you are aware, you're conscious, it's in a name, you're, you're conscious. The subconscious mind is, as I said, a great servant. If you have great habits in place, the subconscious mind is kind of the auto autopilot one, you do those habits automatically. It's a great servant. You can teach it many things and it will progress those things and it does those things. But the danger of the subconscious mind is that it will just absorb anything that you hear. It doesn't have a filter. That's why watching the news, even though you like watching the news, there's a lot of negativity. Your mind gets filled with negativity or opinions of others and things that you might don't want. Now, the conscious mind is the mind where you decide what happens. It's where you think, so you behave out of a conscious mind. Now then, what is the difference between the subconscious mind and the ego? 
because you've heard the term ego now before, subconscious mind. I believe the ego can feed itself through the subconscious mind. So everything that the subconscious mind absorbs, the ego can just use as bait to reel you back into destructive thought patterns. You know, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what you call it. You just have to know that you are separate from this negative voice in your head. But as I said, because you've identified with it for so long, you think that that is you. But it, isn't it amazing to know that it is not you? You are not this person that is separate from its intuition. Because you are the intuition. You just cannot see it or actually cannot hear it anymore because of all of the negativity that is happening in your head. Your subconscious mind and your ego, they are not you. Now, I don't know why they're here, but I do believe that they're a product of this earth. As this earth has contrast, so do you now. So you have a subconscious mind to help you maybe also to, when you have positive hab habits, that you can practice those positive habits. Because we're so negative all the time, it also has this downside of having learned negative things. And then your ego is there and it destroys you, makes you believe that that is you. But the more you practice this, the more you identify the chatter, the more you identify what you are actually thinking or the more you identify what thoughts are happening to you, important distinction, <laughs> the more you find out that that's not who you truly are. Because I am literal, literal evidence of that. I now have more positive days than <laughs> I've ever had before. And I come from a life full of depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts too. And I am so happy and grateful every single moment. And the more I go through life and the more things are happening, like the war and a pandemic now, or now still, <laughs> the more I'm like, the only thing I care about is feeling good. And how did I start feeling good? I identified what I was thinking or I identified what thoughts were happening in my head. The moment you fully realize, and I said this in my intro as well, because this is a, a journey of realizing, realization, realization after realization. This is not just you hear this video and you're done. Keep watching this video, keep watching other videos, you know, feed your mind with knowledge. <laughs> um, the more you realize this, that you are separate from your thoughts, the better you are gonna feel. The the more you're going to feel in touch with your intuition, the more that, that, that light will shine through to you, the more you become who you're truly meant to be, the more that you become who you truly are. Because as I said, and I don't know how to describe this any other than pure positive light being or interdimensional, immortal, humanoid, I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know, you're probably a star seed with alien blood or I don't know, but, just know that now you are a human in, an, in a human experience and you have this subconscious mind and you have the ego. But below all that and deep inside of all that, there's this pure positive light person that is you, that listens to their intuition at all times, that isn't scared and that will prioritize feeling good above any other negative thing. So how do we start this journey of finding our intuition again? We identify what is truly happening in our heads and that is truly separate from us. And we start by identifying the chatter. Now, in the next lesson, I will tell you how to fix all of this chatter in your head. And it is called Stop Reacting. I'll see you in the next lesson.